Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the one of the most talked about topics in the BMW community, the comparison between the two BMW's most iconic inline six engines, the M54 and its successor, the N52. If you ever wondered whether BMW's newer engine actually improved on the old one, or if the older M54 was just built better, stick around. We're going to break down the history, the design differences, the real world reliability, the performance between these two straight six engines. The BMW M54 was produced from 2000 to 2006, powering cars like E46 3 Series, E39 5 Series, Z3 and early Z4s. It came in a few variants, 2.2, 2.5 and 3 liter, with the 3 liter M54 B30 producing around 231 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. Then in 2004 BMW introduced the N52, which replaced the M54 in most models. It ran until 2015 depending on the market. You'll find it in cars like the E93 series, E65 series, Z4 and even the X3 and X5. On paper it looks similar, still a naturally aspirated inline 6, but underneath the N52 was a major leap forward in design and technology. Here's where things start to get interesting. The M54 used a cast iron block with aluminum head, a setup that was tried and true. It's heavier but extremely robust. BMW had refined that formula over decades. The N52, on the other hand, went in a completely different direction. BMW used a magnesium aluminum composite block, the first mass-produced engine of its kind. The goal was to reduce weight and it worked. The N52 weighted roughly 20 to 25 kilograms less than the M54. It also introduced the valve tronic. BMW's variable valve lift system, in addition to double Venos variable timing. That meant the engine could precisely control both valve timing and lift, improving efficiency and throttle response. The M54 only had double Venos, no valve tronic. It relied on a traditional throttle body for air intake control. Inside the engine, BMW also upgraded the internals. The N52 got the lighter pistons, a hollow camshaft and an electric water pump instead of a belt driven one. It was all about efficiency, smoothness and modern refinement. But of course, with the new tech comes new problems and we'll get to that. Let's talk numbers and feel. The M54 B30 made around 330 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. The N52 B30, depending on the tune and model, made anywhere from 215 up to 265 horsepower and around 320 newton meters. So yes, the N52 had a bit more top end power and slightly better efficiency. But what really separates them is how they deliver power. The M54 has that old school BMW feel, a bit more mechanical, raw and direct. Throttle response is instant and the power builds linearly all the way to redline. It's less refined but more engaging. The N52 feels smoother and more polished. Valvetronic makes the throttle response softer at low revs but once it wakes up it pulls strong and effortlessly. It's quieter, it's smoother and it feels like a luxury engine more than a performance one. In a daily driver the N52 feels more civilized but more enthusiasts who want that tactical, mechanical connection, the M54 still hits harder emotionally. Now the big one, reliability. The M54 has earned a reputation as one of BMW's most dependable modern engines. Sure, it has its quirks, oil leaks from valve cover gaskets, cooling system failures, but these are well known and relatively easy to fix. The M54 can easily run 300,000 kilometers or more with basic maintenance. The N52, while generally reliable, introduced more complexity. That magnesium aluminum block can be tricky to repair if it overheats and it doesn't tolerate neglect as well as the M54. The electric water pump is another weak point. It can fail without warning and it's not cheap to replace. 
Then you've got Valvetronic motor issues, eccentric shaft sensors failures and the usual BMW gasket and oil leaks. Nothing catastrophic if caught early, but the cost of repairs can add up. That said, when maintained properly, the N52 is a still a solid engine. It's just less bulletproof than the M54 because of the extra electronics and lightweight materials. When it comes to tuning, the M54 wins easily. The M54 has a big aftermarket scene. You can run performance tunes, intake manifolds or even boost it with turbo or supercharger kits relatively easily. It's simple mechanical engine with fewer electronics to fight you. The N52 on the other hand isn't tuner friendly. Its Valvetronic system limits what you can do with traditional tuning and there's no factory turbo versions to borrow parts from. Most enthusiasts focus on bolt-ons or mild tunes for smoother throttle and a bit more power, but it's not a great platform for serious modification. So which one is better? It really depends on what you value. If you want a pure mechanical BMW experience, something that feels connected, durable and easy to work on, the M54 is hard to beat. It's the last of the classic BMW straight sixes before things got complex. But if you want a refined, modern inline six that's smoother, lighter, more efficient and still naturally aspirated, the N52 is a masterpiece in its own right. It represents the peak of BMW's engineering before the turbo era took over. The M54 was the end of the analog age. The N52 was the bridge to the digital one. Whichever side you're on, both engines remind us why BMW's inline sixes have been legendary for decades. Smooth, balanced, and full of character. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which engine you'd pick the old school M54 or the high tech M52.